white car of Kyle Larson competing for Rookie of the Year honors into the catch fence. Debris scattering everywhere along the front straightaway. And when Larson's car came to a rest on the infield, you see the results. Now, the good news is Larson climbing from his race car. But as we told you, debris went into the grandstands, including his engine, which was embedded in the catch fence. Certainly very, very scary moment as they wrap things up this afternoon at Daytona International Speedway. There you see the tire. There you see the engine, both of those from the Kyle Larson machine. And now we head live to Daytona International Speedway and welcome in Bob Dillner. Bob, certainly a scary moment this afternoon in nationwide competition. Tell us the latest as you are there at the track and have been following the story. Well, emergency workers still tending to some people over there in the grandstands and also the catch fence that came apart when Kyle Larson's race car hit it tremendously at the conclusion of that NASCAR Nationwide Series race. We gotta report the facts. We can do no more than that. Right now, we know that emergency workers tended to about what it looks like four or five people in the grandstands here. And the wreck had some debris that went into the grandstands. And from what we were able to tell, it looks like a tire possibly with some suspension parts wound up in the lower part of the grandstands in the H section. That's all we know right now. We know that they have been tending to about four or five people in the grandstand, all the emergency workers here, and a lot of emergency workers already trying to take care of that fence as well. Now, we saw the engine get caught up in the fence. The fence did its job, but what we can tell, at least by what, we, what it appears on the replay of that wreck, is it looked like a tire might have shot over the fence on the front stretch here and into the grandstands. And again, one more time, here is the wreck. Kyle Larson, his car gets caught up in the fence after colliding with Brad Keselowski and Regan Smith. And parts go everywhere. The engine torn off in the fence, a tire and the hub, suspension parts in the fence as well. And it, like I said, one tire and some suspension parts, it seems, looks like it wound up in the lower level of the grandstand here on the front stretch at Daytona International Speedway. We'll certainly fill you in as soon as we know more. Sometimes in these situations, Bob, you forget about the fact.